feel like this collection is bringing out the ugliness in every single type of creature on this planet. There's just one time I was talking with this guy. He was kind of cute, you know, I'm kind of feeling him a little bit physically, but not, well, not, not literally physically, but we were just talking about life and he had a cool personality. He was really nice. Then I follow him on Facebook and I see stuff like, Black Lives Matter is hypocritical. Blue Lives Matter, um, police brutality is not real. Um, I'm voting for Trump. I'm voting for Trump. I'm voting for Trump. And it's just, it's just like, dang. Like, you were so cute. And now you ugly. I guess this political stuff on Facebook is a good thing because, because people my age are starting to care about what's going on with the government, with the country. Of course, I know they didn't care like, a couple months before this whole race started but it's not like I'm gonna defriend him but it just kind of changes the way I look at him now like you're voting for Trump and I know there are people out there that are voting for Trump that's why he's in the polls I know personal people people that are close to me that I vote from like my dad for instance but my dad kind of crazy I'm not gonna get too into the details because I kind of already did so in this video right here but let's just say my dad has kind of passed the age of critical thinking and reasoning. So we kind of just roll with whatever he has to say. Um, like, what can you do? You're old. What astonishes me is that I just didn't know I could be so close to a supporter and actually have a full on conversation and just be cool. It's like, wow, people like you actually exist. And then they're the type of guys that, even though they're cute, they just spent a whole bunch of time responding to comments about why their philosophy is flawed and it's like they're just debating they're sharing these pictures on Facebook about why uh, black lives matter is stupid or why police matters more or the American flag or whatever and they're just debating and then what bothers me is that they're always saying stuff like well Hillary is doing blah, 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 blah. can't really back up your argument without bringing in Hillary you should be able to support you should be able to provide evidence whatever for what you're supporting for without bringing in the other candidate's name and it's just sad because we had a connection and I'm not gonna block him from Facebook like some people do I'm not gonna do that because frankly I kind of don't know how and it's just stupid it's just kind of counterintuitive I still want to be your friend even even though you're flawed even though your reasoning is kind of different from mine I still want to be your friend but I see I see these people these fine boys in a different ugly light now we still cool and all, but you ugly. I know people are always saying, well, you can ha you can still have good friendships and relationships and all that if you guys have different beliefs. Just don't talk about politics. But it's so hard. Like, every time I log into Facebook, Hillary, Trump, Trump, Hillary, apes. It's just always a back and forth. Um, Hillary did that. Trump did that. Blah, 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 blah. Vote for these people. Vote for that people. Blah, blah, blah. Libertarian Party. Blah, blah, blah. They suck too. Blah, blah, blah. It's just... I, I just missed the day where Facebook was just a matter of can you can you accept my Candy Crush invitation? Can you beat me in this poke war? Like bring back the poke wars. I miss those mindless days of Facebook. And now it's just a political cacophony. That's why I never post political stuff on my Facebook page. Like I just want to be happy. I want you guys to be happy. I don't have time for political debates that people are not paying me for. And the most baffling thing is when they post, when these cute boys, when these boys, now ugly, post things about all lives matter. Mind you, most of these people are white. I just wanna ask y'all a question. How do all lives matter if y'all sneeze in public without even covering your mouth? Just take away all the things that may upset you in this world, like take away all your feelings, all your emotions and just listen just think just listen to this how many times have you seen a grown black man sneeze in public how many times have you seen a grown white man sneeze in public it's over 9,000 at this school I've noticed a lot of non black people sneezing in the air like there's no such thing as airborne diseases like there's no such thing as the cold the flu um meningitis I don't understand like just a couple days ago I saw this one dude with his two friends that were all dressed up and he was walking behind them and he just went ah, and then you know sleet is coming double so he went to get ah, all up in the air all the germs 
all the flu virus all on the air, right on the back, all right, right all over the, his friend's back. And you know me with my little public health major coming up on my, my, my little bike, and I was coming up to him, I'm like, um, next time, could you please cover your mouth? You're spreading germs, and heck yes, I did say that. And you know, his friends and his friends were like, oh my gosh, we were trying to tell him this all the time, he still doesn't listen. And I was like, yeah, that's disgusting. And I said it really super loud so that he could be embarrassed of the stupidity and the lack of home training he is showing off to the environment. Y'all already made a video about this. Sometimes I wish I was famous. I wish I was YouTube famous. Not for the money, not for the fame. Just to spread the public health announcement that it is not okay to be in college, to be over six, to be over three years old and not cover your mouth when you sneeze in. That's not okay. Infectious mouth. They're talking about, oh, it's, I'm, it's okay, it's just allergy. Oh, I'm fine. Oh, you're not gonna get it. It's fine. It's just gonna float away. Germs spread. Don't even tell me that you didn't feel it coming. Everybody feels a sneeze coming. You feel the twitch in your nose and your mouth and your face. Could you like, ah. And then you sneeze. Tell me you don't have 0.5 seconds to lift up your arm and sneeze into your elbow. Is it, is it really that hard? But you at a science geared school and you still don't know how to cover your mouth. And you talk to me about all lives matter. I'm mad. Hey guys, so before I go, I just wanted to say that I am thinking of doing a little bit, a couple, you know, little skits, you know, just kind of little short little films. Just so you guys can have a tiny bit of Blossom every week because it is kind of getting a little bit harder to talk to you guys every single week and make these long videos and edit these long videos. But I'm not gonna really post these videos on YouTube, on YouTube like that because they're gonna be short. So please follow my Instagram account at Blossom the Creativist and like my Facebook page, Blossom the Creativist. Have you done it yet? I'm just gonna wait until you do it. Believe it show up. Thing just, y'all even tell me about my rap. Thank you guys once again for watching and liking and commenting and subscribing and supporting and sharing with Hope you guys have a wonderful week and bye.